One of the most common movements that we do with veil involves turning. Now, if you're not a strong turner, um, you tend to get, for some reason, that just made me think of Tina, who was the strongest turner, right? Uh, when you're thinking about turning, the goal with veil, again, getting lots of air underneath, turns are a great way to get lots of air into the veil. If you find that uh, you struggle with turning quickly or you struggle with turning a lot, you may be dehydrated. That was what my teacher, Anna um, of Alam Academy told me from the very beginning. I was like, I don't know why I'm getting so dizzy doing turns. She said, you might be dehydrated. So I started drinking more water and it definitely helped. Um, as you're doing turns though, understand that you can train your ear, uh, your inner ear to be able to handle more turns just by practicing your turns. We do several different key turns in the feet. I'm gonna show you uh, back up here so you can see what's going on with my feet. When we do a lot of our turning, one that, that I tend to use a lot is, is called a scissor turn, where we're just opening and closing the toes. Like if these are your little feet, you're just opening and closing the toes kind of all the way around. It's a very level turn, so you're not gonna be you know, lifting up or going down and you can take it as fast or slow as you want, as many steps in your feet as you want. So that's one turn that's good to practice. Another turn that is common with veil is a three-step turn. So taking three steps to turn, one, two, three, or, ooh, don't lose your balance, or going this way, left, right, left. I'm turning the feet out just to protect my toes a little bit in my fancy shamrock socks. Ta, da, da. Three step turns. Plant and unwind turns are a faster turn that we use a lot of times in veil. When we're doing something really dramatic, maybe we want to do a barrel turn of some kind where we plant the foot, squeeze the thighs and go down into the ground, switching from the, the toe, the ball of the foot on the right it goes from ball to heel, and the other foot goes from flat to ball. Boom, boom, boom. I'll probably end up doing another video to break that one down. Those of us who grew up in the 80s know that turn, because that was always popular in the 80s when we were dancing to music videos on MTV. Anyway, so a couple of different turned positions that you can use with your veil. Oh, I forgot to tell you the simplest of turns. It's just walking in a big circle. Ta-da! So let's demonstrate. We have a low V that we can do where we can turn with that low V. We can walk in a circle with that low V. We can also do these same turns here. Turning, three-step turn. We can walk in a circle with this one. We can do a high V, I'm gonna bend down just a little bit so you can see this, a high V, which when you turn, sort of makes you look like a tulip, which is lovely, right? So we can use this turn as well with any of the footwork that we may want to use. So those are three very simple turns. One that's a little bit different because the arm positions aren't identical from side to side is creating a sail where we have one arm up and the other one out to the side. Now, I love this turn and I love taking this turn in big sweeping circles around, walking big circles. Let me show you. It creates such a beautiful silhouette and it's a very simple, I'm literally just walking in a circle with the arms at, what is this, nine o'clock and about one o'clock turning in a big circle. Lovely. So those are some very simple turns that you can do with a veil behind you.